All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, you know, this is Pastor Dow. You know, I, I um, just had another report, and I think this is becoming an epidemic if it's not already. First of all, number one, number one let me say this. I am trying my best with a lot of you women, you sisters out there, and brand new people who want, who, who's coming to the faith, coming to the knowledge. It's obvious that you woke up. It's obvious that you realize the deception of pagan Christianity. You, you realize that you get it, you got it. But then what happens is, is you drop, you jump out of the fire pan into the eternal lake of fire where you meet some of these so-called Hebrew camps with some of this crazy doctrine. Listen, there are men out there. Then when they go to your Facebook page, your Twitter page, your social media page, I guess, um, <laughs> I tell you, it's amazing. Anyway, what they do is, you already know what they do, is they, they go out there and they troll women on the Internet. And then they say, hey, sister, uh, you want to do a Bible study? And, of course, you know, those who are constituted to actually really, truly want to be in the real, true faith of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Of course, they want to do a, um, a Bible study, especially if you don't have a local fellowship. Pastor Dallas telling you stay the hell away from that crap. Because these are nothing but devils. These are nothing but boot licking, jack leg, yellow back egg sucking cowards. That's all they are. Felicing, giving a bad name to the actual scriptures itself. Listen, they tried that on one of our sisters. And of course, our sisters are way too keen for stuff like that. But anytime you got a brother that want to give you a private Bible study or just want to do any type of Bible study with you with no one else around, no accountability, no oversight of what's that, run, flee, cut them off, block them, ban them, forget it, period. I mean, leave them alone. I can't tell you how many horror stories we get here. It's amazing how all you Hebrew Israelite sisters, you know about straightway, you let these people fill you up with racism. They soak you with racism. You let them fill you up with false doctrine. This one try to tell our sisters, say, hey, um, you know, I like to do a Bible study with. And our sisters say, hey, the only thing I'm even thinking about is being filled with the Ruach HaKadosh or the Holy Spirit. He says, well, what do you think I want to come give a Bible study for? Because you get filled with his word, you get filled with the Holy Spirit. That is a damn lie from the pit of hell. You don't get filled with his word and get filled with the Holy Spirit. That's not, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. That ain't it. There's a way that is prescribed that clearly tells you in Joel 2.27 and 2.28, Isaiah 28, verse 11, Mark chapter 16, verses 15 through 18, Acts chapter 2, verse 38, Acts chapter 10, verse 40 through all the way to the end of the chapter, and Acts chapter 19, uh, verses 1 through 8 as well as 1 Corinthians 12 and 1 Corinthians 14. I just gave you a plethora at what it shows you what happens with someone when they get filled with the Ruach HaKadosh or the Holy Spirit. Over in Matthew, the third chapter, John told you what the Messiah was going to come, what he's going to do, and he didn't say nothing about filling you up with the Word. Listen, the Word will be hidden in your heart through study. The Word will be hidden in your heart when you are in an environment, a healthy environment for you to be taught. Not paying attention to these dang gangsters, these wannabe coward ass gangsters out there that want to fleece you, get you offended, and get you totally out of y'all because they're servants of Satan themselves. And don't get caught up in his name crap. And by the fruits you should know them, don't get caught up in all these plethora of names. Which one are you going to pick? Huh? You're going to have to know people by fruit. And don't get caught up in all this logic and reason. And, uh, it's just sickening and sad. Listen, sisters. You go out there and you get messed up with these people right here. You go out there and end up having sex with these crazy folks and end up with all kinds of disease and stuff. Don't call straightway. You didn't want to submit to the ministry. You don't want nothing to do with the ministry and stuff until after the ceiling on the ground beneath your feet starts to give way. What you need to do is you really need to pray. You need to ask the Most High who you should be listening to. Because you keep on getting confused. By eating up all these other tables out there, you're going to end up in a state of offense where you're going to just totally deny the Messiah. The last report I got is that there's another Israelite camp that just where, where the leader who believes he's David has just got finished literally beating the hell out of his wife. 
closed both her eyes and busted up a lip bang. I mean, it's just, this stuff, I think the father, it don't happen in straight way. I thank the father for that, that we got to set apart people that are serious minded and love the father. Because some of this stuff that go on, you people are out there are becoming worse than Christians with the hypocrisies and the lies and the attitudes and the wicked demonic spirits. You're becoming a whole lot worse than Christians are nowadays. Maybe y'all should just join hand in hand. But my advice to these sisters is you stay away from these hypocrites and these camps, these liars. Stay away from them. What you need to do, set yourself apart. Listen to me for a while. All right, listen to our Sisters and Sisters broadcast. I will include a link to it down here below. And I also am going to include a link to a video I did just a few days ago about what happened to a sister. Um, and it's just a sad thing. And then not only, not only that, that dang bootlicker even called a dining hall. Didn't even mention a name. But that bootlicker called a dining hall and said, uh, 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 well, you know, uh, uh, anyway, it ain't even worth going over. But to see, that's the reason why I keep telling you. I don't care what environment they come from, what religious affiliation or background they come from. When people are trying to get you just to so-called um, go out there without being taught, without being covered, without being under authority and stuff, and, and then having you, cause you to despise dominion, despise those that are authority, making you presumptuous in spirit. I mean, these people are setting you up for failure. Satan is slick. I'm telling you, he is slick. And if he can get you so offended and get you so worn out um, that you even deny the Most High that he's done, done his job, even and he uses religious people to do it. It's a sad, it's a sad thing. Listen, it's not by power nor by might, but by my spirit. But let me tell you something. You shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And that power ain't just sit down and reading and studying scriptures. There's more to it than that. You know, the message, according to Isaiah, and according to what the Mashiach said, he talked about the spirit of Yah is upon me because he has anointed me. And what do you know you do to preach good news? Glad tidings. What else do? Heal the sick. Bind up the brokenhearted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what he did. Preach deliverance unto them that are captive, captives and set at liberty them that are bruised. Or to open up the prison doors. Are them ministries out there that you people are involved in, all these religious people, do they do that? They don't do that in Christianity. I know they don't do it in the so-called Hebrew Israelite movement. They, I damn so know they don't do it in the Messianic movement. And they definitely don't do it in no Hebrew roots movement or the Jewish religious tradition. So there's only one other group left. That is the remnant, the set apart, the called out the ones that are equipped, anointed with his power. All the rest of them too busy coming against what the Messiah says and explaining everything away. And the reason why they can't do it is because they don't have his spirit, and therefore if they don't have his spirit, they are none of his. Wake up! <coughs> Get some discernment, and stop lying men to lie to you, and tap your life. I ain't going to give y'all too many more warnings on this. You should already know who to be listening to, and where to come, in and where to go in the first place. And that's the truth, and that's the truth straightway. Check out this last one I did.